Okay, so you who are in here, what you can start doing while we wait is you can get something like even a, a towel would work or a, a, even a kitchen towel, but put it underneath where you're going to be painting. Newspaper would be fine. You need to have something on the table to pick up not only the extra paint, but the gold glitter, okay? Because we don't want that to be too big of a mess for your mom and dad and you afterwards. So something on the table underneath, it could be a placemat, it could be a tablecloth, it could be newspaper, parchment paper, whatever. Whatever you feel like you'd like to put under there, put that under your paper. Okay, good job, guys. All right. Okay. Hi, Madison. Good to see you, Madison. All right. So you should have a piece of paper to paint on that is like something about this size, 9 by 12. Everybody hold that up if you've got it. Yes, good. And it needs to be a thicker paper. Um, the thickest paper you have in the house would be the best. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's get started. Jennifer, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you're going to keep your camera off. So if you want to turn it on, feel free, but we're going to go ahead and start. All right, guys. So you also need to have something to put your paint on. That could just be another piece of paper. It could be, yep, perfect on Janelle. It can be a tray or a plate from the kitchen because the paint will all wash off. It wouldn't hurt a plate at all. I have this little tray and I put my paint inside here. But really, if you need to run and get something like that, even a piece of aluminum foil would work. You just need a place to splat the paint out so that you can work with it, okay? Okay, raise your hand if you're ready to go then. You have all that stuff. Madison, are you doing okay? Okay. Good deal. All right. The first thing we are going to do, let me show you again what we're making so you know where we're headed. We're going to paint this nativity. Okay. Now, did anybody get the pieces cut out ahead of time? Okay. No. Good. Good on Janelle. Good, Madison. Okay, Harold, you and your sister, you may you may not be able to finish tonight, but you, but you'll be able to get all the way to the place where you're ready to put the pieces on. Okay, because they have to be cut out ahead, maybe ahead of time. They're a little tricky to cut out, but we're going to talk about it. All right. First thing you need to do is get your paper. Okay, put it in front of you. Get your tray or your or your. A plate or whatever you're going to put your paint on okay and then take your black paint that's the first thing we need is black hey asher good to see you okay take your black paint if you don't have this kind of paint it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter what kind of paint you have even if it's watercolors that's fine but you want to put a little bit of your paint i'm going to put a little splotch here on my tray okay like that something like that okay and then everybody needs a paintbrush so hold up for me hold up the fattest paintbrush that you have what's the fattest one okay all right yep on Janelle that will work okay I would use the fattest one you have whatever that is that's what we'll work with okay now the first thing you're going to do guys you're not going to hold your paper up like I am keep it down take your brush Okay, and you want to put it in the black paint. Okay, get it full of paint. And then you're going to paint the bottom of your page. You only need maybe a couple of inches. All right, and you can tell on mine that I didn't do a straight line. I kind of see how I rounded it here, then rounded it again, rounded it again. Something like that. Yours won't look exactly like mine, and that is just fine. But about two inches of black from the bottom. It doesn't have to be exactly. If it was three inches, it would be okay. But just about two inches and paint all the way. 
Now, guys, what we want is we want it to be solid black. Okay, no white showing. Just black. Yeah, keep going on Janelle, put a little more color and try to get it blacker. If you have watercolors, it will be a little watery and that's it. That's probably not going to look as black as this and that's fine. It'll just have a little different look. Asher, where are you? Come on, Asher, show your face. Okay, when you get it painted, hi Karina, when you get it painted, hold it up so I can see it. Okay, Karina, you need to go ahead and get started, girl. Take your, um, take your paper, put your black paint on some kind of a tray or plate or something, Karina. See, I've got this little tray and I've got my black paint on there. All right, and then you're going to take your paper and paint the bottom maybe two to two and a half inches on the bottom. So Karina, go ahead and start that. I need to get some supplies. Okay. All right. The main thing on this, you guys, is that it be as solid black as possible. And you're going to, after you, after we paint the middle, you're going to understand why. It needs to be black, black, black. I see Harold's sister there doing a very good job. Harold, what's your sister's name? Mary. Her name's Marion, and my name's Gabriel. Oh, Here's it's not Harold. Harold. Harold's your last name, I bet. Yeah. So there are two of us. We just. Uh, okay. Did you say Marion? Yeah. And Gabriel? He's okay. Marion. I'm Gabriel. Hi, Marion. I won't call you sister anymore. Hi, Marion. Marion and Gabriel. Okay. So paint, paint, paint. When you get that little part done, guys, um, hold it up and let me see it, just in case I need to instruct you at all. We want to do it right from the beginning. Oh, yes, Aunt Janelle, you got it um, black. Um, Mary's wondering if we're doing the top and the bottom. Okay, yeah, so the next thing you would do is do the top. Now you want the top to be a little bit thinner than the bottom, all right? This is for just, just because it'll be more beautiful. So on Janelle, you would wanna turn your fat black part on the bottom and your thinner black part on the top. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, then on Janelle, what I would do since you're done is I would start doing this and trying to get it dry. Okay, either that or blow your hair dryer on it for a minute. Okay, Karina, are you ready to paint? Are you ready to paint Karina? Okay, so Karina, what you want to do is you want to paint the bottom solid black. Okay, it doesn't have to be a straight line. You see mine how I kind of made made it curve like this, like there's little hills. And you only want about two, a little over two inches maybe at the bottom. Then you do the top and you want the top thinner black than the bottom. All right, so go to it. There isn't a right or wrong on this, just pretty much solid black bottom, solid black top. The top should be thinner than the bottom. All right, Aunt Janelle brought her hair dryer. That was good. I'm glad you brought it, it really helps. Get it good and dry, Aunt Janelle. Yes, Miriam, very nice. Okay, so Miriam, take, Miriam, take the little part that's going down into the white and kind of try to make it a little more solid. All right, a little more solid black. How are you doing, Madison? Good. When you want to hold it up, go ahead, okay? So I can kind of help you out. OK, 
Okay, Gabriel, yes, sir. You have done a good job, Gabriel. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay, just wait for the next thing. Let's let's wait for Madison and Karina. And there's Asher. Asher, do you have supplies? Asher, keep your camera on, please. <laughs> Asher, do you have supplies? Okay. Did you hear what I said? No? Okay. Asher, here's what you do. Okay, so you're going to paint the bottom about two uh, about two inches, maybe a little more from the bottom all the way up, and you want this solid black. All right, you can see I did not do a straight line. I did some curves, curve, curve, curve. All right, you can do that. Makes it look a little more interesting when you're done. And then Asher do the top, but the, you want the top thinner than the bottom. The black on the top thinner than the black on the bottom. All right, so go ahead and paint. Asher, you probably want the fattest ah. brush that you have. I don't have black paint. We're gonna get okay. black. Well, um, what paint do you have? I was gonna, um, we were, I was gonna draw it, like sketch it in, but you could do that. And write the color. So you um, might. Do you have your block crayons handy? Yeah. From history? Is there a black in there? You could do that if you want it, if you want color. If you don't want color, you can just sketch it, okay? Here, Asher, let me show you. Did you get the, um? did you make the print of the pieces? You can print this off of the site and get the, so you could have that outline. Otherwise, that you could just remember it. You're smart. Look at it and just remember, okay? You are. All right. Okay, Madison, hold yours up and let me see how you're doing. Yeah, that's it. Good job. Yes, Miriam, good. And Karina, what's your question? So I don't think we have to look pretty. And also, did you say that the top made is pretty shorter? Say it one more time. You kind of got blurry there for a minute say it again well thank you for having gold glitter and also we will say that i need to have the top shorter than the bottom yeah the top should be a little bit thinner than the bottom like c minus thinner than this yeah okay yeah okay like some of our students are ready to move on. All right. Still letting people in. They're going to just be a little bit behind, but that's okay. All right. So the next thing you're going to do, you don't have to clean your brush. Okay. Keep the black paint in your brush. You will use it. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take your white. White paint. You're going to put another... Good job, Asher. You're going to put another blob of paint on your tray, okay? Just like you did with the white. But I'm sorry, just like you did with the black, but do it with white, okay? And you're probably going to need about as much white as you used black, okay? That looks good, Karina. Okay, now you've got your white paint and you've got your dirty black brush, all right? Don't wash your, the black paint out. Now here's the next thing we're gonna do. We're going to make a, a spot in the middle of the paper that is, this is going to symbolize light. This is where baby Jesus is going to be in the manger, okay? So what I want you to do is put your brush in the white paint and then start painting circles here, okay? And your brush has black paint in it, which is gonna make gray. So you're going to just kind of circle it around and it'll get grayer and grayer and grayer towards the outside. If you want to go back in and pick up some more white paint to make the middle whiter, you can do that. But this is kind of the look you're going for, okay? Now this is not on another piece of paper. This is on the paper that has the black on the top and the black on the bottom. I just did it on another piece of paper so you could focus on just this one thing. 
So now we're painting the center of the paper. Any questions? Oh yeah, Asher, what's your question? Um, can I use watercolors? Yeah, you can use watercolors, you bet. The only thing with watercolors is it won't be quite as black, but that's okay. It'll be very beautiful. Watercolors are beautiful. Go for it. So go and get the bottom and the top painted, Asher, and then um, go towards the middle. Um, if that, I'm not sure if that's Gabriel or um, Miriam, but you guys, hey. want, you want to hey. put, some, yeah, you want to put some white in there. Okay, you need to have white paint. There you go. Yep. Let me show you guys again. This is some you want it. You kind of go in for this look. Whiter on the inside, and it'll get darker and darker as you go out. Okay. You're not going to go all the way to the edge of the paper, though. We're going to do something else with the edges. Now, if you feel like it's not blending well, add a little water. Dump, dip, dip your paintbrush in the water and add some water to what you're doing. You'll, you'd be surprised how it will blend. Okay, another thing is we're not looking for a solid, a solid gray. You can see all the different colors of gray in mine. So if you get, if you're getting a solid color, add a little white, but don't mix it all the way through. Just like add the white to the center or add some black to the outside. If you can get different colors in there, it will be better. All righty. Ms. Jacobson. Hi. Yes. Did you happen to have um, a student try to come in and then and not make it in? Do you know if you had somebody try to come in and, and fall off, fall out? I, I don't know. Okay. Sarah. I've no, let no. several in, but um, I might have because okay. it seems like I have let more in than it's here. But I've okay. not seen these two. I'm not even, I've not seen their faces yet, so. Okay, I have one one student and another one that says that she's had trouble getting in. So I'm gonna um, find her and have her try again. Okay, that's just fine. All right, yes, Gabriel. Um, how, how, like, is this good? That's pretty good. Um, you know what? Even make your circle bigger. See how big mine is? There's not much yeah. sides left, right? And this is all black up here. So you're pretty much filling in almost the whole center, okay? So yeah. I would add, maybe add a little more white to that and kind of swirl it around. Yes, Karina, good job. Yes, yes, Asher. Um, what's more of a gray? Yeah, that happens with watercolors. It's okay. Make it as dark as you can. And with watercolors, Asher, you really need to drop water in there to make it to make it pretty. So don't be afraid of using water. Just put your brush in the water, put it on your paper, and then add more paint in. But this was like five layers of black. <laughs> is it actually black you're using or are you using gray i'm using black yeah sorry watercolors are beautiful but there are some troubles that way okay hi monica hey good to see you hi my um, name's helena but the name is just different but can you just like show me what we've been doing so far you betcha and what's your name again helena helena okay helena First thing is you're going to have to work kind of quick to catch up, but you want to get your paper. Okay. And you want to, what kind of, what kind of paints are you using? Um, I have this paint. Oh, okay. let me put it in front of your camera. Yeah, that'll work great. Okay. So put your paint on a tray or a plate or a piece of aluminum foil or anything like that, where you can like, you know, do, do a big squeeze of it like this. Okay probably even more than that and okay. okay and my paper's a little smaller it's like this big 
Okay, that's fine. It'll work. All right, and then and then you're going to paint the bottom black and you're going to paint the top black. You want the bottom thicker. See, it's like two and a half inches high and the top is like maybe one and a half inches. You want this part thicker than this part. It does not have to be a straight line. You see how I kind of put some hills in there. This is like the, the terrain, okay? And also in the sky, it doesn't have to be a solid line. You want it to kind of be like, you know, a little fuzzy that way. Thank you. Yeah, so that's your first step. And then um, let me know when you're ready and I'll tell you the second step, okay? All right. Now, oh my goodness, everybody's at a different stage now. Okay, Asher, are you still painting away? Okay. All right. Now, if you have this part done, hold it up. Yes, Gabriel, I see that you did well on that. Yes, Karina, good. And Madison, can you turn yours around? There you go. Okay. Yes, good. I see some gray in there. Nice. Okay. And on Janelle, can I see yours? Okay. Hi, Helena. Yes, very nice. Okay. So those of you who have all, I see it, Miriam, good job. Who have all that done. The next thing is, if you have blue paint, this is the time to bring it out. If you don't have blue paint, then you're going to use some more black, all right? Black and white. If you have blue, put a big blotch of blue on your, whatever you're using, your plate or your tray, okay? And then what you're gonna do is it's gonna look like this. I actually used black today and not blue, but put your brush in your blue paint. Watercolors are fine, Karina. And then you're going to paint, you're gonna go like this, okay? And like Wait, this. Wash. Uh, what? Do we wash or blush? No, you don't need to wash it. It's good. You can use one brush for this whole project. Okay. You're going to put your blue on the sides and the blue on this side, or you can do black if you like it, or you can do blue and black. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your brush in the water and start kind of mixing it all together. You want the sides to mix with the bottom, the sides right. to mix with the top. Okay, and then um, your your circle in the middle should be the the very center of it should be the whitest thing on your page. Any questions? You guys have um, questions? You can ask me. Go ahead. Uh, we're having blue on the sides. Blue or black? You can decide. You got your choice, okay? Blue or black, or you can use blue and black. That would I'm be fine. Use, I think I'm probably gonna use blue. Blue is pretty. Yes. Um, Helena. Uh, Helena, is that right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, Helena. Um. So I had a question. I yeah. forgot. Sorry. You You can't remember. Yeah. I'm your name Helena so I don't forget all right uh Karina you have a question you doing okay the blue? yeah blue or black and or you can mix blue and black okay so you're going to color it in and then Karina you kind of start blending it together with some water okay thank you yeah Yes, Asher. Um, I found the better paint. So it's looking a lot better. Oh yeah. What kind of paint is that? Um, the only black paint I had was puff paint. Okay. It yeah. Looks it looks it it looks fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. Well, you can kind of just figure it out tonight. And then if you want to get some acrylic black paint and try it again, you could do that. What's the next step after the black? The okay. Um, is that Helena? Helena, show me what you've gotten done so far. 
Yes, good job. Okay, so Helena, this is the hardest part of it, but what you do is don't wash your brush, okay? And you're gonna put white on your tray. And then you kind of start making the middle of your page circular and use your white, all right? Don't wash your brush though, because you want that black in there. So there'll be the, it will get darker and darker and darker as you go towards the outside of the circle. The reason- right in the middle of the page. Yeah, the reason we want that white is because that's going to reflect the glory of God because the manger is gonna be right in the middle, okay? Hello, Joy Lynn. Good to have you. Can I Where'd see the example of the of Gabriel again? Gabriel, you wanted to see the example of what? The example of the sides and the the example of the sides again. Yeah, it's not complicated, Gabriel. All it is is that you're filling in the sides, and you want your brush will go up and down like this. Okay. Okay. So but the gray. In, so um, am I correct that the gray? In the, this is like filling in the gaps that between the black the black at the bottom and top and the gray in the middle you got it and you're going to after you get the paint onto your paper you're going to kind of blend it all together okay so you want to dip your brush in the water so that you have a little water to work with and then start blending it with the sky blend it with the ground and then blend it with the gray circle in the middle Everyone's will look a little different, but they will be beautiful. Yes. Okay. Good job. Now, don't put any more paint on there, Gabriel. Just put your brush in your water. Put your brush in your water, Gabriel, and start blending it. Okay. You want you don't want any white on there. You want it all colored. Okay. Um. Me and Gabriel's look the most similar together. Do they? Let me see yours, Miriam. Can you hold it up for me? I missed it, Miriam. Sorry. Asher, how's yours? Yes. Well, that puff paint's working. <laughs> That's very black. Nice job, Asher. Asher, did you hear how to do the circle in the middle? Okay. Go to town. You did not? Okay, so what you want to do, Asher, is take your dirty brush. Your brush has black paint on it, right? Okay, don't clean it. Now dip your brush in white paint. And then you're going to start making a circular, like kind of a feathery look in the middle. Okay, Gabriel, whoa, you did blend that. That's going to be impressive. Okay, Gabriel, what you need to do is start blow drying that with a hair uh, hair dryer if you have one, because you look pretty wet. Ashes. We use technically what? We use it for drying my um toenails. We we technically have a hair dryer. Okay, you know what, Miriam, you have done sensational, excellent job. Okay, Asher, are you with me? You have white paint. Okay, so Asher, you need to make a circle in the middle of white, okay, with your dirty brush. It will make it gray. And then you want it to get a little darker as you go outside the white, okay? All right. What do I do next? Who is that? Miriam? Ah. Okay, you want, you probably want to dry it with your hair dryer. She, she I think that's the blending. He hasn't done the blending yet. Okay, well, go ahead and blend it some with some water in your brush. But Miriam, yours looks so pretty. I would be careful. You don't want all the colors to run together. Okay. Yes, Helena. Do I blend it next? Yes. Go ahead, Miriam. Um, wait. We're are we using watercolor or acrylic? Well, acrylic would be the best choice. Okay, good. But I think I layered it too much. No, nah, you've done fine. You've done really good. Okay, now Helena, take your blue yeah. or your black mm -hmm. or your blue and your black, whatever you want. You're the artist. Okay, now you're going to fill in the sides something like this. Okay, but that's what yeah. you're going to do. You're going to go so all around here. it, all around yes. the shirt. Mm -hmm. Yes, so put in that color 
and then you want to blend it all together. Okay, this is our background. Yes, Miriam, you've done a beautiful job. I think it's blended just fine. I think you should stop. Now go go blow it with your hair dryer, okay? All right. Good girl. Uh, Karina, yes. Karina, one suggestion I make on yours is I would try to go to the edge of the paper if you can. If you're worried about your table, just put some newspaper under it or something like that. Paper towels. Yes, Madison, how are you? So am I supposed to do only on the sides or all around? Okay, you've done very well. Now, Madison, don't put any more paint on there, okay? Take your brush and dip it in the water, in your water, and then just start blending it. Okay. You, want, you want to blend all the colors together. I think you have enough paint to do that. If you don't, then add some more paint, but I think you're good. Uh, yes, Helena. Do I fill the entire thing? Yes. Like Look at mine, um, Helena. See, it's all filled in. Okay. Asher, how's it going? Good, I'm drawing it. You're done? Oh, you're drying it. Okay. Yeah, you want to get going on that gray circle in the middle pretty soon. Not all of it. Like, there's kind of like some pieces that aren't that dry, but I... It's okay. It doesn't have to be all the way dry. Yeah, just get, get the paint on there so we can do the other part. Yes, Gabriel. Very nice. That's nice. Okay, Gabriel, what you could do if you're done painting is you can start cutting out your pieces. All right. Gabriel, do you have the sheet with the uh, nativity on it? The little pieces? Uh, uh, Mary. I can't hear over the hair. It looks like this. Do you have this? No, I don't. Okay. Well, your, mom, of him, your mom can print this off of the site where you registered for the class. Okay. And then you will want to cut them out. Now, listen, Gabriel, when you cut them out, you want there to be a little bit of white around them. Do you see my, this is Joseph. No, this is the shepherd, I think. Okay. Do you see all the white around him? You don't want to cut it too close. It's just too little. So put a tiny little bit of white around each piece. Yeah. So if your mom gets that printed, you could sit there and cut on these while, while we wait for everyone to paint. All right. Teddy's hand is up. Teddy, did you have something to ask? Yeah, um, I my camera won't be being able to turn on, and so oh. I don't really know how you'll be able to see what we have done. Yeah, I won't be able to see without a camera. Um, Teddy, you can't see me though either, right? Yeah. Um. Well, Teddy, do you have paint? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's just that you can't see it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't see it, Teddy. That really breaks my heart. I would like to see it. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, you want you want dark paint. Well, on actually, never mind. Okay, dark paint on the top and the bottom, Teddy. And then you want some white in the middle where Jesus will be. And then you want it to go from the middle out to the sides. You want it to be gray, and then um, it will get darker towards the edge. Yes, Anjanelle, exactly right. Okay, Anjanelle, do you have, is that dried? Okay, you might get your blow dryer out and start drying, okay? So Teddy, um, you want the side step to have blue and black or blue or black, and then you just blend the whole thing together. The only thing you need to make sure of is that you keep the center white, okay? As white as you can. 
That's too bad. He can't see. Yes, Karina, nice job. Okay, Karina, you got to the edges very well. Okay, so if you have a blow dryer, I would start blowing that one. Okay, so you can glue on it. A hair dryer is what I'm talking about. Like you see on Chanel, blowing away. Okay, good. Good, 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 Asher. Now, Asher, you need to put some blue on the sides, okay? And then blend it all together. If you don't have blue, then use your black. Yes, Helena. Oh, we need to stand up first. Um, so this is what it looks like so far, and I'm adding black on top of the blue because the blue is really light. Yes, add some more black to that to that right side. Yeah. My right. Yeah, and then blend the whole thing together, and you're there. You've got it. Good job. And also, I don't have um, um, glitter. Oh, that's okay. You can add it later. Okay. And I also don't have a blow dryer. That's okay. You might not get these glued on until it gets dry, but you can you can watch us how we do it and then you'll know how to finish. OK, and that is just fine. Yes, Karina, did you have a question? No, I just need to tell you something that I need to go over there to be able to blow dry my That's project. Fine. That's fine, Karina. Thank you for telling me. Yes, Gabriel. Um, print out. You know where I find those? I'm having trouble finding printouts. Oh, are you really? Um, well, you know where you joined the site that you went on to join this room? I got it from an email. Um, okay. Um, all of the, let's see if I can find it. All of the classes were listed. Oh, they've already erased the chat. Mm. Um, well, do you remember where you registered, Gabriel, for the class? We registered, his email, his teacher, Sarah Silkwood, sent me an email and I registered by email. Okay, just through her or did you actually go on the site and register? I didn't register on Canvas. I just clicked the link on the, yeah. on the email. Okay. Wherever that was, on that link, under my my art, you know, it said Mrs. Jacobson and it has my the picture of my nativity. It says materials and it should have been in there for you to print. I will check there. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Yes, Alina. I found a blow dryer, but oh. I I have no idea how to use it because I've never used it before. Okay, so put the little end towards your the little end, the smaller end. Turn it around. There you go. Now put it towards your painting, okay? And the it, hot air will blow out of it. Turn it on. Is it working? Uh-huh. And then you just dry it off, kind of go like this, and it'll dry off. On Janelle, show show Helena how you dried yours with your with your dryer. Yes, Asher. Yeah, but show her how you use the hair dryer on Janelle. Very nice, Asher. Okay, Madison, are you done? Are you finished, Madison? Okay, good for you. Good for you, Gabriel. All right, Karina is blowing hers dry. Um, well, you get to use it because... Uh, this is, this is Marion finished blow drying hers. That's fine. I think she's got it on Chanel. Thank you. Okay, Asher, how are you doing? Good. So I blend everything on the page, right? Yes. Just take your brush, add a little water, and blend it so it's on nice and pretty. Okay? See, Asher, look at mine. See how it's just kind of all blended? There's not any straight lines. It's kind of like blurry. That's the look you're going for. Okay, go ahead. Um, 
Wait, so apply water and then mix. Yep, you got it. This is your chance to be artistic. Your chance to shine. You are the artist. <laughs> okay, Miriam, is yours dry? And Gabriel, is yours dry? It's, 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 it's okay. Dry. Okay. Okay. Oh, Madison, how beautiful. Okay, Madison, you need to fill in all that white. Okay. So take your brush and stick it in your water and start just coloring it all together with your with the water. All right, you don't want white on your page. The only white you want on your page would be like in the middle of the circle. You want to cover the whole thing. So start pulling everything together, meshing it all together. Okay, how did you do, Gabriel and Miriam's mom? Did you find it? I think so. Okay, good. I think I got it. Great. Asher, hold yours up. Let me see. Oh, yes. Now you got it. Oh, the only thing is, Asher, one more thing. Add some white to the middle. You need to have the white in the middle too, so that you can put the baby Jesus in there. Yes. Nice, Helena. Okay. Just blend it all together, Helena, so there's no... You I want it dried it, so should I okay. like just add more paint? You're fine. You can just leave it that way. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> yeah, if you can take your brush and kind of do that, try to get rid of the. I'll add water. Yeah, you could add a little water. Don't add too much because we're going to glue on there. Yes, Karina. How do I paint the um, things out? Okay. So the next thing is you should have a copy of the pieces for your nativity yeah how do i print those out okay on the place where you registered for the class um you should be able to print this out gabriel's mom just had to go do it too so is your mom or dad there to help you yeah both of them okay so this should be on where the materials for the class were listed there is this copy is in there and all you do is print it see Gabriel's mom just did it so you can go in there and print it okay you do need to have this in order to finish okay Sarah how are you I had to cut the tip just so I could do that Look at you all working so hard. They are. They are. How much time has it been, Sarah? I have totally lost track. Oh, I think you've been here maybe 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yes, Gabriel. Um, uh, we, it's dinner time, so we're, we're going to need to leave. Uh, what do you do with the glitter? Okay. All right, let me just let me just talk to your mom real quick and she can help you. Okay, so mom, what you're going to do is have them cut these out. And it's fine if it's not perfect. What you want is you really want there to be a little bit of white around every piece. Okay. 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 And I let my grandson do this. It took him two days. Okay, so it's okay. You could you'll have a project, okay? That's why it needed to be, you know, to finish, you needed to have it cut out. But it's no problem. Just take your time. Um, you might want to help them with some of the things, but if they mess up, just print off another one and on you go. Okay. okay? A little white around everything, the star um, as well. Okay? okay. And then they can, on their dry piece of paper, they can put them how they want them. The main thing is that baby Jesus needs to be in the middle of that white center. That's the idea. Okay. okay. Then you just glue them on. All right. Okay. Let those let those dry. And then take your glue, put a unless you have a glue stick, that would work as well. Um, 
my glue stick though the the glitter didn't stick as well as i wanted but put some glue or or if you want to use a glue stick just put it all over the background but put a little bit of glue on your tray and add just maybe a couple of drops of water to it put you know kind of rub it like that with your finger and then go all over the sky part all right with a thin uh layer of of glue that's been been thinned okay take your glitter you're gonna have to get some gold glitter put it in your hand or their hand and then they can sprinkle it on like they were putting sprinkles on a cupcake okay if you just pour the glitter it'll just be in one place right <laughs> so put it in your hand and sprinkle it all over the picture like you were doing cupcakes and it is a little messy but it's fun and then um there should be a lot of glitter in the sky and um mine doesn't have as much glitter as i would have hoped because like i said the glue stick wasn't working great but that's why i would do thin thinner glue um and you want to keep the bottom as black as possible just because it it brings interest to the manger itself that's about it okay thank you so much well you're so welcome we'll miss you guys but um have fun finishing okay nice to meet both of you bye, bye. okay madison how's it going nice helena yes you're good okay helena you're good to go yes madison you're good to go all right karina are you done yes but what um what do you mean by the page where register okay so you know where you registered for this class like where i put my name and stuff yeah and you said i want to come well at, at right there there's a list of materials that you needed for the class and you can print you can print this from that page isn't that right sarah my my cutouts i don't know if you can print it from the registration page but you know what i can drop the link to it right in this chat there's a little oh. box like on top of the the materials like there's a little box and it says print the thing the okay that's perfect 